up guys, it's Chino here and today this video will be about how to not procrastinate basically and I'll be giving you some of my favorite tips that I use uh, that help you not procrastinate um, and that help you get uh, through uh, by my day. So here it is. Alright, so now the first step is do not rush to having your time. And what I mean by this is that finish all what's necessary first before getting to what you want to do uh, on your own. Well, while I say this, it's also important to note that, well, you should have your time basically, but it's not like uh, you're skipping straight forward into it. You're actually doing the work that's necessary before you do it. And think of it as levels in a video game where you have to cross every level uh, and you have to cross every single path that it is. Uh, your paths obviously being your homework or you uh, studying for a test or etc um, and you getting towards that finish line of the day uh, having finished all homework and that sense of accomplishment it's just amazing so first keep a priority as finishing all your homework and then get to having your time all right guys so the second tip that i can give you guys is that live your life by the week what I mean by this is that think of each week as sort of every single uh, or, the, or the next level in, into your life. And so never ever live your life by the day, having accomplished today, having going on to the next. Always live your life by the week and set your target to be that at the end of the week, oh my goodness, you're going to have all the time you want to uh, focus on other things so you can balance out your life with whatever else you want to do in your free time or etc um, and so keep the weekdays for your schoolwork and keep the week ends uh, for your, your free time and the last tip I would give you guys is that with, with something that I do uh, on my own um, and I personally really find this really helpful and it's to skip ahead of the syllabus uh, and to learn further what I mean by this is that uh, do not stop where the teacher expects you to stop. Always go above and beyond. Um, and so, yeah, I hope this video helps you guys. I get overwhelmed with how many things I have to do to the extent that I don't feel like doing any of them. So for those who also get that feeling, you could try writing down all the things that you have to do, big and small. It's not limited to homework. It can be things for ASAs, things your parents told you to do, um, appointments, and even hobbies. Uh, I find that writing these things down calms me because I can see everything that I have to do orderly and they're not just circulating in my head making me panic because I don't have like a head count of everything that I have to do. After writing the things I have to do down, I rank them, one being the thing that I absolutely have to get done that day. I also write down what time I will start and finish each thing because while this is a usually like a huge es estimate, setting goals for myself uh, makes me panic when I'm not meeting the time goals. So that pushes me to stay on track instead of doing other things to procrastinate. If I think that I absolutely won't have time to finish everything, I will write down a time and a day that I will do it because just telling myself that I will do X, Y, and Z tomorrow at 8 p.m. commits me to doing it. It's like making an appointment with myself to make sure that I don't uh, make arrangements to do other things or like scroll through my phone in that time because I know that there is some place that I have to be doing something. All right, so here are my words of advice on how to avoid procrastinating or how to just become a better and well-organized student. So first, what I do is I put my phone as far away from my room as possible because for me, once I get on my phone, I can easily lose the track of time or I really just don't focus on my work and I'm kind of on my phone while doing work and it really lowers the quality of my work. So I try to put my phone, you know, not in my room. I try to put it somewhere farther away from my room so that even if I do want to just go check it, I kind of have to walk away. So maybe I'm not, uh, I don't want to as much. So that's definitely something that I do. And then another thing that I do uh, in order to allow myself to not procrastinate is when I get home from school, I don't go and do work right away. I give myself one to two hours at least just to take some time off because I've just had a seven hour school day. The last thing I really want to do is go and continue to do work. So go to the fitness center or hang out with friends at Road 6 North End or anything like that. 
just take some time away from work to do something that's a little bit more fun and maybe it's uh, beneficial to your mental or physical health as well. And my final word of advice is use scheduling apps. I use Notion and you can ask me about that if you ever see me in the hallways and have any questions, but there are a lot of scheduling apps which allow you to kind of keep track of the work that you have and the due dates. And just by having a physical calendar or a digital calendar, it really allows you to just be able to see and realize what you have to get done. Because a lot of the time you'll get something assigned and you'll completely forget about it until the last day. But if you have that reminder already set, you know, you're seeing it up until the point that that assignment is due. So it definitely is really helpful. Hello, my name is Ina Serban. I'm here to share some some procrastination study tips. So the first one is if you start doing the assignments in order. So do the ones that are in order by due date. So do the ones that have the closest due date and then maybe organize them by due date and how long you think they will take. And you should take a couple minutes break in between each assignment so you don't get worn out. Because one of the hardest parts is you procrastinate because you're doing assignments for several hours and then your brain just won't focus so you don't do much work. And then the last one is just if you just finish the project, you will feel better that it's done. Like, a, and you'll have a weight taken off your chest. Those are my three recommendations for procrastination.